Hey guys, I'm Gumjob, and I'm a monster. But not all monsters are bad. Like the Cookie Monster. The Cookie Monster loves cookies, and I love candy! <laughs> That's one of the reasons I love Halloween, because you get free candy! If you don't know, I just love candy! But enough about candy. Let's talk about Halloween. Halloween can be dated back to almost 2,000 years ago at a Celtic festival called Shaman that took place on November 1st. And they believe that the night before, which is October 31st, that ghosts came back. And that's kind of scary. So to keep the ghosts at bay, they would leave food and drinks out by their doors. Later, the Christian church changed the name of Shaman to All Saints Day. And then in the 8th century, they changed it again to Hallow's Eve. Which is how we get the word Halloween, because Halloween is derived from Hallow's Eve. Halloween, Hallow's Eve, they sound so much the same. <laughs> so nowadays we go trick-or-treating, but back in medieval time you went guessing, which is where you would dress in a costume and you would go door to door and you would get money and bread and wine in return for singing and dancing and reciting poetry and telling jokes, so knock knock. Who's there? Gumdrop. Gumdrop who? Gumdrop the candy monster, of course. <laughs> See, I would be getting food for that. But no one uses the word guessing anymore, so in 19th century America, they revised it to what we now call trick-or-treating. Another Halloween tradition that I love is carving jack-o'-lanterns, and that has a very interesting story behind it. So let's take a look. Jack-o'-lanterns started as an Irish belief, because they believed in this legend about this guy named Jack, and on Halloween night, Jack tricked the devil up into a tree, and he carved a cross on the tree so the devil couldn't get down. But Jack let the devil go on one condition, that he would never take Jack's soul. But you see, there was kind of a problem, because Jack was a very wicked man, and he didn't exactly get into heaven. So he went to the devil's gate, and he knocked on it, and he said, let me in. But the devil was all like, no, you cannot come in. We made a promise. You have to go roam the earth all by yourself. So then Jack was roaming the earth all by himself, and it was kind of dark, and all he had was a candle. And then a year later, he stumbled upon this pumpkin with a face carved in it. And see, he put the candle inside the pumpkin to make a lantern a jack o lantern <laughs> and so then people were carving the pumpkins and putting them on the doorstep so Jack wouldn't come into their houses it's a very silly tradition but it's really fun <laughs> Halloween is a very loved holiday I mean it's estimated that Americans spend six billion dollars on costumes and candy each year think of all that candy <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos. Also, question of the day, what is your favorite type of candy? I like so many different candies, it's so hard for me to choose. But I might have to say gumdrop because that's what I'm named for. Also, down in the description, we have links to our website, which is www.bringingsomeartback.com. And there they have lesson plans for this video and all the other videos. Also, there's a link to our Pinterest account that has a board on each episode. I hope you had so much fun today, and I hope you learned some things about Halloween. Coming up, I've got some safety tips if you go trick-or-treating. Bye! <laughs>